Back on the flight deck, pilot Doug Hurley is uh, receiving assistance and getting his helmet configured, communications gear in place, and strapped in. Mike Thompson and Steve Bowen once again helping him and back in the white room. Rene Arians is assisting Dave Wolf with his launch and entry suit. Shuttle weather officer Kathy Winters has uh, informed STS-127 launch director Pete Nikolenko that a phase two lightning warning is going to go back into effect in the vehicle assembly area, but not at the launch pad. Okay, CC, DLS 212. Go ahead. Yes, sir, I can give you steps 584 through 590. Complete your implementation of step 92. Copy that, QC. And Chris Cassidy has entered Endeavor. He'll be up on the flight deck, seated in seat number three in the rear row to the right of the uh, right shoulder of pilot Doug Hurley. Once again, uh, we're in a phase two lightning warning for the vehicle assembly building area, but not at the launch pads. And this is coming from the storm that is to the northwest, which is stretching back to the east, but the general movement of the storm is to the west. So we have high confidence that we'll be moving out of the area. It's just bothersome for us at this time. And CMQC, you got 641, correct? I still show 641 open. Copy that. Okay, CC, GLS 212. Go ahead, GLS. Yes, sir, I want to see if we can get a CMQC over on channel 162 for working our GLS initialization. And QC, you copy? I copy 162. Thanks, sir. OTC, PLT, count check. PLT, OTC, have you loud and clear? Good afternoon, Doug. Pilot Doug Hurley in the foreground performing voice checks. NTD, PLT, com check. PLT, this is NTD. I have you loud and clear. Good afternoon, Doug. Good afternoon, Steve. Houston, PLT, com check. PLT, Houston. I read you loud and clear. Good afternoon, Chunky. Good afternoon, Dex.
And we're back in the white room where Chris Cassidy remains. We thought that he had boarded, but he is still getting ready.